Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed. In today's session, we'll be talking about code analysis part in Automation Anywhere. So code analysis is an important aspect of any software development uh, practice. In Automation Anywhere, we also use various tools to perform code analysis. So one of the primary tool for code analysis is the code editor uh, that you use. It provides features such as syntax highlighting, code completion and debugging tools that help RPA developers to analyze their code and identify potential issues. In addition to code editor, Automation Anywhere also provide a feature called code analysis that allows developer to run static code analysis. Like in general programming, we have linting tools where we perform static code analysis using those linting tools like JSLint in JavaScript. So similar to that, code analysis is one of such feature provided by Automation Anywhere. This feature checks the code for issues such as syntax error, unused variables, potential runtime errors. Code analysis also provides suggestion for code optimization and best practices. So let's dive into uh, the control room. You need to log in with the admin credential uh, like your role should have admin access to access the policies page in control room. So once you log into control room with your admin user, you go to the administration section and click on policies. In policies, you'll see this feature called code analysis and you have to edit this. Once you edit this, you can enable and disable it by default. It might be disabled for you. You can click on enabled and then Probably these are the rules which you can set up at your organization level. For example, action maximum. So this determines how many lines of code uh, you need in a particular bot. So the general thumb rule is of 300 lines. We should try to follow as per that best practice. And you can set the severity in case this rule is not met how you want to flag this if you, you want to flag this as a high severity issue or uh, a low severity it totally depends on you so for example now let's see uh, these are some general rules then we have variable related rules so if you enable this variable name pattern you can suggest uh, you can define like how you want to code uh, camel casing pascal casing or snake case or kebab case so pascal case uh, if you want to keep you can select this and if this rule is getting violated you can uh, tag it it's a severity high or low so during the code analysis process is this can be fixed then the length of the variable if you want to uh, configure uh, the variable should be within this range then you can specify that range minimum and maximum range for now we'll, we don't need this uh, no unused variable so if you check this if you enable this rule then unused variables will be highlighted and you can remove them easily so this is the one then comment coverage uh, the number of comments uh, in a particular bot right how many how many comments you want so similar something like that so how many percent coverage if you want 10 percent your uh, of your code should have a comment then you can specify that here mandatory header comments once the bot starts you want a header comment like the name of the task or a small uh, snapshot or a summary of what this task is doing if you want that if you want to enable that you can enable it and accordingly mark the severity hard-coded values so if you uh, no hard-coded delays in your code if you uh, if some developer has specified hard-coded delays you want to write away flag that and you have to get that delay uh, from the config file so I'm right now uh, marking this as a high severity. Uh, no hard-coded file path. You can specify that as well because uh, otherwise this would tend to break, right? If you're providing hard-coded file path and while moving your code from dev to UAT or UAT to prod, it might fail because that file path might not exist over there. So there should be no hard-coded email as well. You can specify this as high then we have in error handling in logs uh, so in error handling if you don't want to uh, have the empty catch statement in catch statement you want to either log or send email or do some action right uh, so you don't want empty catch you can you can determine this as a high uh, severity rule so mandatory catch logging 
there should be log inside the catch if you want to enable this you can enable it so for this demo uh, for this uh, video i'm just uh, giving you an overview of this and we are enabling these uh, such rules we'll see one example of uh, the implementation as well so i have enabled all the rules let me enable this variable name length as well minimum is 4 maximum is let's say 10 okay uh, then save this so once i save this uh, this rule is enabled this policy is enabled now and code analysis feature will work behind the scene once you uh, go into your bot editor and build a bot then you will be provided a window a assistant window which will help you uh, to get rid of this uh, issues or warnings so let's check that so I've logged into the bot editor now and uh, you can see here I've created a test bot and I've just mentioned a message box with test text and you can see here uh, the assistant if you click on this assistant you'll be presented with the assistant pop-up and where you can you can see the code analysis section and it says there are four code analysis review uh, performed by the code analysis so it performed the static code analysis it, it ran on this bot and it says first one it says mandatory header comment so as we have specified right uh, there should be a header comment bef on, at the top of uh, the bot so we have to fix that this is severity loo because we have set it to be severity loo and then we have uh, try catch coverage so there is no try catch uh, at uh, block right now then we have the sample number so this is variable name length rule we specified remember right uh, minimum length of the variable should be 4 and maximum should be 10 so our variable naming convention should be within 4 to 10 uh, the length of the variable should be between 4 and 10 so but sample number exceeds that length and then the another one is no uh, no unused variable so in our program in our uh, rpa bot there should no there should not be a, a variable which is unused so if you can see here in variable you have these two variables which are no, uh, not used right so you what you can do is if you click here and delete unused variable let me do that delete unused variable delete and if you see now code analysis those two uh, uh, review comments gone right now we have just two review comments mandatory header comment so let me put a comment here code analysis let me just type it uh, anything like that so if you see here as soon as you save the static code analysis is uh, is ran in the background and it, it just removes this from the list so now only one error or one such rule we have that is try catch coverage all non comment action must be within try catch block so we have to specify a try catch block and remember we, we cannot specify a empty try catch block as well so this is try catch and once you implement a try catch then let me save this and now in our code analysis there should be another error with empty catch we cannot have an empty catch so in the catch block let me put this uh, something like message box and in the message box i can error occurred some error occurred something like that for now i am typing and in the try block let me have again this message box test bot for code analysis feature okay so now let me save this and boom all the uh, issues went right all the code review related issues gone because uh, we had we had followed all the uh, we, we are following all the best practices or rules which are set by us so this is how you can utilize this assistant uh, and get rid of all the suggestions and uh, work on all these uh, suggestions which are provided by uh, based on these rules that we have set in code analysis so that's all guys it would be really helpful uh, if you utilize if you use this it would it would be beneficial uh, 
that you don't have to spend more time on reviewing your code because most of the work would be done by the code analysis part code analysis feature so in that way it will reduce uh, potential errors so that's all guys for this video please like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching